Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. I love to make videos all about faith, motherhood, lifestyle kind of content. So if that's something that you're really interested in, definitely consider liking and subscribing down below. So today's video is a special one because it's all about babies and baby entertainment and what you can do with them, get creative that way. And you can get creative just by making things that you have around the house. So I'm gonna share with you guys my top 10 DIY sensory activities that you can do with your babies. So the first sensory idea is moon sand. So you can make this in a sensory bin or whatever that you have that's big enough to hold all the sand for you. So this just takes four cups of flour and then you mix it with half a cup of baby oil and mix it all together and it makes sand. He definitely was a little shy about it, a little intimidated by the sand, but I think over time he'll get used to that and enjoy playing with it. Number two is magnets. Use those magnets that you have on your fridge. Your baby will love to just try to stick those magnets on the fridge. Or you could just use like a cookie sheet or something as long as it's obviously made of metal. And then yeah, they can play with the magnets through that too. Number three would be a posting activity. I just took a box, just a shoe box, and then cut a, a little circle in the box and then my baby would try to push a ball through the hole. And then you could try to make it somehow open up too so he can try to grab the ball out and then just continue that process. And you'll be surprised how difficult it is for a baby to actually do this activity um, when they first start, but over time, they'll get used to doing that and it'll just be a second nature to them. The fourth one is edible finger painting. So you could obviously just use regular paint, but since it's for babies, you just never know if they're gonna put it in their mouth. So I like to use yogurt. You could also use frosting and then mix it with some sort of uh, food coloring and mix that all together. And I just took a cookie sheet for my baby to play with and then he just was able to finger paint on that cookie sheet. I also recommend doing a lot of these activities outside. First of all, it's e way easier to contain the mess when you can just spread a sheet in on the grass or something instead of having it inside and making sure it doesn't get on walls or anything or your carpet. So I definitely recommend that if it's nice outside, take advantage of that. And then they can be out in nature too. Number five would be making your own instruments. So I will say we do have a lot of instruments already that were already made, but we have made a couple where we would just take like a jar and then put some popcorn kernels in it. Or you could just take pots and pans and use a little drumstick and your baby will love to just go at it and <laughs> play those loud drums and that's really fun for them too. Number six would be wipe openers. I didn't really know which one to call this, but I just took a box and then I took the top of the wipes that we'd use for diaper changes and I would hot glue those wipe openers on the box or you could just do it on a cardboard, whatever and uh, then you could put something in it. It could be photos or it could just be something where you could touch and feel it for your baby. And it's just fun for them to be able to explore that way, open up those openers, and then they can touch and feel for themselves and see all the different things that are inside. All right, number seven is sticky ball. Just take a ball and then just put tape around it and just make sure it's obviously flipped around so that the sticky side is facing forward. And that's really fun for them. They get to explore the stickiness that way. So number eight would be using pipe cleaners to have your baby pull things out. Um, so what I just took was a strainer and I just put some pipe cleaners in it and then your baby can just pull those pipe cleaners out. He didn't really do it with this one. My my uh, three-year-old did though, she really enjoyed that one. And to be able to put it in too, so eventually when they're a little older, they can actually put the pipe cleaners in the holes too. So that's really fun activity for them too. Number nine is sparkly bottle. So you could just take like a plastic water bottle or I took a mason jar. So I just put some glittery things in it. I just got that from the dollar store and then fill it up with water. You could put some food coloring in it too. shake it all up. And it's just so fun for them to explore and just see all the pretty colors. I feel like this would also be really nice for like car rides or anything where you need your baby to sit, sit still for a longer period of time. For Arthur specifically, he really liked to just shake the bottle around and just to see the cool things inside. So definitely give that a try. Number 10 is slime bag. So this again was something that Arthur didn't really I don't know, want to touch that much to begin with because honestly, a lot of these things we just started doing and he's going to get used to it, but over time he'll get more adapted to it all. But slime bag was really fun to make. So this was half a cup cornstarch and then two tablespoons of sugar. Just whisk that with two cups of cold water and then food coloring. And then I would just heat it up on the stove until you'd see the bubbles and then 
and then you let it cool and put into a bag. So I really like that trick where you just put the bag in a cup and then you could fill it up in the cup that way. And then you just seal the bag and it's ready to go for your baby and they can explore that way too. Well, that was 10 sensory ideas. I would love to know if you have any sensory ideas for your baby or toddler. Um, I just think it's fun to share ideas back and forth. So definitely share that down below. Or if there was some cool idea that you wanna try, I wanna see if you're gonna do it yourself. So anyways, with that being said, you guys have a beautiful day. God bless and I will see you in the next video. Bye.